All right, everyone. It is me. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Johnson Chan. And, uh, well, it's been a hell of a week. Uh, nice to make nice with big oil. Actually, that's actually kind of important. I want to read this, actually. Uh, actually, I kind of need... Uh, I need to actually retweet this, actually. That's how important it is. Um... So yeah, hopefully everyone had a good week. Uh, it's been a pretty nice day, uh, week I should say, because I keep I keep forgetting I only do these videos once a week now. And uh, yeah, everything's looking great. Uh, Bitcoin's up, hit 50k this morning or last night, all right. And then before pulling back, uh, yeah, pulled back a decent amount, not too bad. Uh, I just finished watching the stock guys video. Uh, yeah, he is bringing up concern and he did address it, of course. Uh, let's refresh this, make sure we get the right prices. Uh, you know, crude oil is up, so now the markets are up, of course. Uh, silver is down, because, you know, asshole JP Morgan is manipulated. And then, here's the thing, the 10-year yield, I, like, none of us like this. This thing is spiking like crazy, which means that debt is, money is leaving the debt market and going into other stuff. Right? But usually, when this thing goes berserk, that's an indicator that something bad is about to happen. Right? Because this exact same thing happened last year. All right, uh, during the so-called coronavirus garbage, all right, and that's exactly what, and you know, now we're seeing signs of that. However, the stock guy, I just watched the video. I, I'm actually very busy today, so you know, I, I have a lot of uh, first I catch up with my video games, and then I have to start training the markets. So, but I'm doing this right at the market open. It's 9:32 a.m. right now. <clears throat> so, I don't know. I really wish I knew about it because I would have sold all my stuff. Avoided the cash catastrophe. It actually made money on the down on the market down, right? Buying you know puts, and then just make out like a bandit. But luckily, as I've always you know, here's the real secret to wealth, right? Just ask Jesus Christ and God, especially if you're Christian like me. Just ask Jesus Christ and God for money, and then He'll help you out. Um, I did, now I want people to be going to my live stream. Right, because some of you lazy papegos aren't doing the work, right? Whether it's the ops updates or you know the finance stuff. Uh, but I have discovered a brand new blockchain stock. I'm gonna be talking much more about uh, how to short this in my live stream later. There probably are other ones too. But the reason why I like this one is because a good big market cap. B, uh, they're actually a Bitcoin mine. Like they're actually a Bitcoin mining company, right? They're a public. Bitcoin mine, uh, mining company. They hold other cryptocurrencies. They're basically like me, except much bigger, and they're publicly traded. And more importantly, they have this. They have all of the. Oh, you can't see the drop down, can you? So they have this. They have two. They have full options on it. So if you don't have access to Ledger X, right? Because this is what I've been talking about for years. We have access to this. All right. My call options on Ride Blockchain, because I talked about this on Friday, are already up like $600 per call option. In fact, it's actually probably up 1200 bucks. I don't know. It's up a, it's up a shitload of money. All right? Far, far, far more than anyone anticipated. So uh, you get that really good stock tip. So we're going to ride this to the top, and then we dump it on the way down. So it's going to be perfect. So we have our Ledger X. We have, I have my stock market. I've got, I've got so many avenues to win, just like Donald Trump, that it's almost impossible to freaking lose. So let's take a look. Uh, Wells Fargo. Yeah, everything's up today. So in fact, it's spiking. So my spider indexes are also gonna spike like crazy, and that, obviously that's what I want. And then cron job. I always call this cron job because that's what you call it in Linux, but it's really just called cron. So cron is you know, recovering, it's going back up, so, yeah, so now it's starting to go up like a, like something that looks a lot more normal. So, I definitely am going to start dumping all of my positions, I'm just going to be 50%, I'm going to be, I guess, 47.5% Riot, and 47.5% uh, Spider Index, SPY, and then I'll have a 5% cash reserve, and that's it, and I just ride this at the top. I'm not actually doing the stock guys trades anymore because I'm just too slow. All right, I'm getting old. I'm getting slow, and quite frankly, I just don't like trading all these things and then having to get out in like 20 minutes for a couple of the trades. I just don't like it. I, I just, I just don't. Other people have had success though because they actually buy even more in the money and then they ride like the 40 cents 
I think that's how you're supposed to do it. I, I don't want to do that. I, I'd rather just take it easy and just do my own thing, combine it with my stock ice info, and then just... Because that's all, that's all I ever trade. I trade the entire trend, all right? I'm up big right now. I'm up really big right now. And silver, I mean, it's going to continue whacking off for a while, but, I mean... It, um, more people are demanding actual physical silver. So at some point, they're not going to be able to suppress this price because there's just no more silver to buy. Well, that's just the thing. It's, it's just, the whole thing is just a little weird. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. All right, so that's that. Uh, the stock guy said he needs to see a significant pullback in Bitcoin so we could blow past 50K, even though he called 50K exactly, which is why I listened to him. He's, he's like the best. Uh, me personally, though, I've already seen this before, too. Uh, my take is we're technically seeing the pullbacks already. It's like up a lot. I mean, up a little, but down a little bit, and then up again, a little more, and then down again. I'm okay with that, too. All right? I mean, it's nice to see. The, like, remember, it was last weekend or two weekends ago. It was the weekend when Elon Musk revealed in his SEC file that he, you know, bought uh, $1.5 billion in Bitcoin. Right? What happened to the price of Bitcoin? In fact, it was, he was probably the one that was spiking it. Right? What, what happened? Bitcoin shot up like six, eight grand overnight. Literally overnight. Because I went to bed, it was 38K. I wake up the next morning, like, wow, Bitcoin 44,000. Well, do you remember what happened? It went down by like 3K, like for the next day or two before going back up. That's what always happens. All right? So. <clears throat> So there's that. Uh, normie interest has obviously increased. But the good news is now I don't have to rely on this, right? Because remember, I had this big gap. Like, what do we do once this thing surpasses the original 2017 peak of normie interest? How, how are we going to figure it out? Well, thank God, yet again, you know, Jesus provided. And, you know, I'm getting kind of annoyed, too, because some people that I defended, I won't mention them, uh, have basically started backstabbing and they're still shit talking me and I'm following on Twitter and it's like fucking pissing me off. Right? Uh, and I don't know why. Right? Because they, they, they'd rather listen to liars and these F words. And, you know, uh, it's very aggravating to me. So, uh, definitely something for me to, you know, continue to, you know, think on for a little bit. But in the meantime, we've got a lot going on. So, you know, uh, I'm going to be exiting all my, I have Wells Fargo, ExxonMobil. I'm still doing the stock guys trades, but obviously, and of course, silver is, you know, I'm just going to have to kiss my eight grand goodbye on silver. Like, it doesn't expire till June, but, unless, but. I mean, J.P. Morgan is going to continue being a piece of shit. And everyone's already going long on silver, too. So, I don't know. We'll just let that. I'll get my money back with Spider and Ryan anyway, so whatever. But it's just annoying. That's another reason why I don't want to do specific stop trades because of stupid shit like this. It's like, okay, I just ride the entire market. What's J.P. Morgan going to do? Manipulate the entire market? That's just... it's it's Even for J.P. Morgan, that's impossible. Right? Even all the current... Big corporations out in the world right now, if they want to manipulate the market, it's very hard to do that. All right, the central banks could kind of do it, and that's kind of what I'm watching, especially with the Myanmar removing the central bank chief there. And I'm going to go over that in the live stream later tonight. Uh, yeah, I mean that's the only other way, and even then, there's limits to that too. Yeah, look at this right blockchain just going straight up. Like this is like the best thing I ever found. Like it was by chance too, because like. I was just thinking, I really wanted a stock that just is 100% correlated to Bitcoin. I right? can't wait for the Coinbase IPO. It's going to be too late by then. Uh, then I had Grayscale Trust. I was like, yeah, of course there's no options, right? because I was checking for it. And then I noticed on the Yahoo recommended suggestions, they mentioned Ride Blockchain. I was like, huh, Ride Blockchain. You know, how do they bypass you know, Riot Games right? because of the trademark issues? Uh, well, apparently it doesn't matter because, you know, they have this much money. Um, what? Now they're worth $4 billion, whatever. Yeah, so obviously as Bitcoin and crypto go up, Riot goes up. All right. Here, let's actually take a look at this description. This is like, this is probably going to be the one video that's going to make you so much fucking money. You know, I'm actually, I'm kind of a little jealous of all of you regular normie papegas because I didn't have fucking this shit. I had to figure this all out on my own. And, I, and by the time I did, it was already too late. Missed the effing boat. 
Riot Blockchain, eh? this is on the right hand side, together with the subsidiaries, subsidiaries, focuses on building, supporting, operating blockchain tech ecosystem. It is involved in digital currency mining operation, which utilizes blah, 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 we know. Digital, primarily Bitcoin, so they're a Bitcoin mining company. The company also holds interest in various activities, including purchasing and selling digital currencies. So they buy the major cryptos. Uh, and develops TestPay, a payments ecosystem for component, subcomponent supply chain settlement solutions. So basically, the you remember my old Bitcoin videos when I went over fundamentals? Uh, huh, fundamentals now, now that we know the truth about everything, about the finance system. Uh, there's a, they're actually using blockchain instead of like, you know, Excel or whatever to do actual like tracking and shipping and all that stuff. Because that's actually a big deal. There's a lot of physical shit that moves around every minute. So having a blockchain do that to help automate and guarantee accuracy is so good. So they do that. That's very good. Uh, December 31st, 2019, they have 7,400 mining computers, and this was a long time ago. The company was known as Bioptics, Inc., and changed its name to Riot Blockchain in October 2017. It was founded in 2000. See, this is an old company. They were here since 2000. And ironically enough, they're based in Castle Rock, Colorado. Uh, so they, they also said they've been at their webpage said they added a bunch of new miners, too. So they're, they're, new, they're, they're popping off right now. They are popping off, like. I don't know. I kind of want to know how much. All right, I'll show you guys one of the positions. So I'm buying, you know, preferably one year out. Uh, I have a forty dollars strike. Uh, it's not updated. So yeah, the yeah, you see, it has four hundred twenty-seven volume right now. So or something like that. Um, all right, you know, what? I'm just gonna log into my stock account. Let me just take a look. Uh, okay. Put this up here. Uh, yeah, but the pieces of shit that are shit talking. They better not be taking my uh, trades and then passing it off, passing it off as their own, uh, as their own thing. All right, so I only own one riot call. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, because I didn't have it. Yeah, because all my money's tied up in the stock trades. So that's why I want to exit. <clears throat> I paid three three hundred dollars for a forty dollars strike. Uh, it is holy shit! It is up nine forty five. So it is up right now nine hundred forty five dollars, and that's the bid. The ask is four thousand three hundred forty five. Oh yeah, because I always like kind of tend to overpay a little bit because I just want the option so. Right now on my stock brokerage, it goes for thirty nine hundred to forty three forty five. So if I were to sell at the current ask price of forty three forty five, I would literally make a thousand dollars. So I made a thirty three percent return on my money, which is about how much it went up today because it's up twenty seven point eight percent. Obviously, I'm not going to sell it, all right? Because you know, because I know where Bitcoin's going to go. We know where Bitcoin's going to go. Uh, and of course their website's still having pro yeah, they're not even updating the prices at all on my stock account. Yeah, like ever since the Robinhood fiasco, everyone's been, just been going to different brokerages, and my brokerage has been getting hit pretty hard, which is technically a good thing, because the more people that ditch Robinhood, the better. But if you're stuck on it, I mean, you're just stuck on it, right? Oh, look at that, right? Blockchain's now $8.10. Uh, it's so easy to make money. Uh, it's so easy to make money. Actually, I do want to check something. Um, let me see. Oh, yeah. I kind of revealed a little of the secret sauce there. So you guys get a little... Uh, see, this is why I kind of like being able to read people's shit here. Because it actually... Because I can't use the homepage. It's fucking impossible to use it now. Uh, where is Mr. Retarded? Alright, uh, here it is. Uh, yeah, he's been doing QD a lot. One hour. Yeah, they're doing something different. Uh, let's see. Can't trust that. Oh, that's pretty funny. 
Really? I thought everyone liked Elon Musk in this community. Alright, so he's focusing right now on QD right now. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, it's just more people. I mean, I like Ron DeSantis, but I don't know. I mean, there's just no one like Trump, though, right? Uh, dollar twenty. Okay. That'll be funny if QD becomes another like GameStop target. Like, I'm just avoiding all that GameStop shit, man. Lost too much money on trying to catch the fucking manipulation like that. Uh, very nice day. Hungry. Um, but. Okay. I'm, I'll hit the like button. But, yeah. I really should follow him back, but I. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't see any, Yeah, I don't even see them talking about crypto, which is interesting. Uh, let's see. Then we got the blackout. Oh, yeah. So my stock guy also mentioned uh, they're manufacturing a quote unquote new crisis, which is the. Um, uh, energy crisis quote unquote it's all bullshit but you know normies will believe everything so you know we'll just uh we'll ride the trend we'll profit off of it and you know what energy crisis means markets go straight up that's why we're looking that's why i'm looking at this uh the problem is i really don't want to read this whole thing but i mean right now i mean we've got so much crap going on so all right so Biden killed Keystone Pipeline XL. Uh, Gina Curry White House, I think is not new. Uh, we're not in a fight against oil and gas. Uh, okay, green energy. Please, be, that means that uh, like the spirits green energy jumps ramp up. Yeah, so the idea, so now it's starting to make sense. They're trying to kill as much energy, at least in America, as possible to spike prices because guess what if america is not producing energy we become dependent again upon the world so obviously foreigner countries especially opec in the middle east right those muslim countries you know that make all the oil uh funny enough this also helps canada a lot too because they're still the number one exporter of oil and oil in the world people don't know that and gas uh russia is pretty close too uh i'm factoring in fracking too that's that's a, that's the key thing metric but obviously the Middle East is still like, you know, you know, they swap between number two to four. Uh, and the, again, depending on how you want to measure the metrics, they're technically number one, quote unquote. All right. But I go country by country and somewhat by region. But anyway, it's going to spike because obviously America doesn't produce energy. What do you think the price of crude oil is going to do? Skyrocket because there's less people producing. There's less supply, but the demand is the same or goes higher. So it, it's very simple. What does that do to the market? It goes straight up. Uh, okay, uh, losing jobs. Uh, it's not as easy as it sounds. Blah blah. blah. Okay. Da, da, da. Okay. So, all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually tweet this out. Um, uh, Joe Biden is planning to kill the American. Uh, fossil fuel and oil production industry to spike crude oil prices and prop the markets up even further while simultaneously pleasing foreign countries who produce all the oil, all the remaining oil and energy trade accordingly and kill the uh, okay I think it's got us shorten this trade accordingly all right uh, post on gab what the fuck 
Uh, Gav is still having problems, man. I, I, I know he's work. I know Andrew Torba is working very hard, but it's causing a uh, geo. I guess it's both. Okay, we'll use that. Uh, yeah, I probably should go back on uh, Red Pill Project sometime, but I don't know. It's just a. I mean, I don't know. Maybe maybe this week. Maybe this week. All right, so anyway, everything's looking pretty good. Let me just check the stock guy real quick, see if he's got anything new. Uh, 10, do 10 year and the dollar. Okay, this is what I do care about. I have to read this. Okay, dollar weakness is keeping the mechanism in check. Right. Yeah, the dollar's not really spiking. It's going up, but not by much. Okay, yeah, this does make sense because if you're selling off a lot of debt like what we see here, where is it? Oh, I skipped it. Right, it's up five percent right now. Right, the ten-year yield spiking. Right, what does that mean? You're getting, you're dumping your debt. You're receiving cash. What happens when you receive cash? Cash goes right up. Uh, in fact, I'm supposed to go over this. Like, God, we have so much shit to go over in tonight's live stream. But basically, what happens is, if you remember last year and every crisis before that, especially 2008, I, I checked the past. The dollar actually spikes because what's happening is everyone's dumping their stuff and going to cash. When everyone goes into cash, because that's what that's what everything's settled in, the price of the dollar, the value of the dollar goes skyrocketing. That's why the dollar always gets stronger. And that's what we're seeing here. Now what's interesting is, I guess relatively speaking, this isn't that much of a spike in the dollar. It's going up because everyone is literally dumping, wow, 5.3% now. Everyone is literally leaving the debt market, and what so far it seems like they're just going into the stock market. They're going into the other markets. They're going into cryptocurrencies even. So basically, everyone's getting out of debt, and they're just buying everything else up. So it's actually very normal. However, again, we just don't like to see we don't like to see this go up or down. That's what the stock guy says. If we look at the historical average though of this. Ah, oh, shoot. Can I, can I click the interactive map? Yes. Five year. Here we go. We just want to go back to here. See, the historical average has always been pretty high. In fact, during the Trump years, when the markets were doing very well, right, quote unquote, uh, yeah, and don't get me wrong, I still obviously love Trump, right? Uh, but, you know, you can see this thing was still pretty high. So it's actually kind of just going kind of back towards what it should be, what's normal. Now, I don't know what effect... The, the central bank's short-term rates are going to be versus the long-term rates. Like, there's an obvious difference. But, I mean, we've had that for a long time, for like since 2008, essentially. So I think it should be fine. But, again, we're going to be watching like a hawk. Because, um, basically, if this thing gets out of control, we have to dump all our positions. I might even dump some of my Bitcoin positions and go, all, and go into all cash. Go a little bit short, right? And then, uh, you know, make some money. And then way down, then buy back in. So, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm making a lot of money today. So, I want to go. Uh, I need to go trade. Um, yeah, I keep showing you guys the really good shit on the video, which you should be going to my live stream instead. And, um, let me see. We need, uh, I don't know. We kind of need a thumbnail. Alright. I really don't like this shit. It's so disgusting. Today. I hate it. Cryptocurrency payments. Yeah, everyone's getting into cryptocurrency. Chinese Bitcoin lottery system or something like that. All right, just get me the... Yeah, here we go. Very nice picture. Perfect. All right, we'll, we'll end it on this. So if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page. So continue growing this channel or follow my gab. Actually, we should be, I should be pumping my gab here. Uh, go to gab because that's, that, that is the nexus for all of my good stuff. You want ops updates? My Twitter is listed. Um, live stream is also here. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then my 
Rumble is over here too. I'm actually going to be using Rumble because that's actually owned by Dan Borgino. So I can definitely say like, I mean, cause I'm still uploading on YouTube. I can't say the F word still. Uh, so, you know, but I also can't criticize, uh, <clears throat> the certain country in the Middle East that cannot be named or hinted at. So anyway, uh, going to be good. Going to be great. Going to be making a lot of money and, uh, I will see you all next Tuesday. Uh, if we're going to go short, I will make a short video and say, stock, I said he's go, he's dumping. Here's the reasons why I will per cause he's probably not going to short the market. I will. So I will give you the choice of where you want to short or not and get out. <clears throat> because unlike before, this time I'm actually listening to someone who actually knows what he's, you know, effing doing. So uh, this time, if the markets are going to tank like they did last year in February, knock on wood, right? Uh, well, you know, we'll see what happens. Otherwise, uh, instead of that video, I will see you all again next Tuesday or otherwise on the live stream on trovo.live forward slash real Johnson chant. All right. Thanks for watching. See you next time.